On the court, power, power, and more power characterize this fiery Belarusian's game. Arina Savalenka, born in 1998, the year of the Tiger, is a 20-year-old who plays with a lot of passion and has been blasting opponents off the court for as long as she can remember. I mean, I was good actually when I was young because I was hitting the ball really hard and kids couldn't do anything with that. Then probably when I became 17, I started to understand what, what tennis is. It. She started last year ranked 73. Then Sabalenka captured her first two career titles, earning her the 2018 WTA Newcomer of the Year Award and a year-end ranking of number 13 in the world. Yeah, it was like something amazing. I made the final, then I won title, then I won another one, and I was like, wow, it's so quick. Needing a coach who could help hone her power and match her strong personality, former top 20 player Dmitry Tursunov paired up with Sabalenka in 2017. We're both crazy persons, <laughs> but it works and uh, this is important. Sometimes we have little fights. I think it's necessary, you know, especially with a strong personality like she has. She had so much power, but she really didn't know how to use it. Like a soldier running in with a bazooka in a two by four room and just shooting everything. She needed to understand, okay, like once, once she's inside the court, she doesn't really need to destroy the ball. Oh, there it is. Just as you think she's the punisher, yeah, Sabalenka pulls out something a little crafty. After capturing her third career title at Shenzhen at the beginning of 2019, Sabalenka moved into the top 10 for the first time in her young career. To stay near the top, she hopes to fine-tune her game while dealing with the pressure of her success. As you're improving in the rankings and as a player, it's a lot of work to improve very, very tiny little things. And if she's going to improve those things, the ranking's going to improve as well. The future for the young Belarusian is bright. Her plan for now is to keep things simple, improve on the little things every day, and just go out and compete. And now when you're a top 10 player, you still need to go on the court and do your best, but it's a little bit of pressure. And that's what I need to work on, just to forget about anything, just to go on the court and play. 